New Hampshire's congressional delegation had as close to a front row seat as possible during a scaled down ceremony with stepped up security, a signal of the pandemic and the political divide facing President Biden and the new administration. One of the lines that he used, I thought, was to see each other not as enemies, but as neighbors. And if we can think about that, that we're trying to work with our neighbors to get through this period in our history. And he acknowledged that we have significant challenges ahead, but that he and his administration are ready to get to work on those challenges and that as a unified country, we can meet them head on and come out better at the other side of it. Exactly two weeks ago, the Capitol was under attack. New Hampshire's delegation evacuated. Congresswoman Custer wore a gas mask that day. Today, reflecting on her return to the Capitol for the inauguration. The next Wednesday was the impeachment of Donald Trump for inciting that violence. And then today, this historic day where we demonstrated to the country and to the world that our democracy has prevailed. To show our country and the rest of the world that things will move forward, that there's continuity. And I think Joe Biden is the right person to lead this nation forward. While the House already voted to impeach former President Trump, the Senate now faces the impeachment trial in the next few weeks. Reporting live, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.